Now, if you want to center something in Photoshop, it can be kind of frustrating as you're trying to drag things around and get it in the perfect spot that you want. But wouldn't it be nice if there was an automatic way to do this with maybe one click? Well, in this tutorial, I'm gonna share exactly how to do just that. My name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and today I want to share the easiest ways to center anything in Photoshop, whether you just want to align to your entire canvas or to a specific area. So let's hop into Photoshop and see exactly how this works. Now here you can see I have an image that I want to align to my entire canvas. Currently, if I access my move tool, I could try to eyeball this in the right area, but I still don't know if it's perfectly centered or not. So how can I make sure that it's always in the right area? Well, all you have to do is select your entire canvas. So just to make this a little more dramatic, I'm gonna move this over here. And now what I'll do is press Command or Control A on my keyboard to make a selection of my entire canvas. So look at how the outside of my photo has those marching ants indicating a selection. Now with that active, I can select my move tool and then up here at the top, you'll see a couple different alignment options. Now the ones that we want to use is this one here, which is align to center. And then this one here, which is align vertically. And now with just clicking those two buttons right here, once again, this one and this one, we have centered our photo perfectly on our canvas. Now, what if we wanted to do the same thing, but with text? This time with my text layer, I'm gonna press Command or Control A to select my entire canvas, grab my move tool by pressing V, and then I'll click align to center and then align vertically. And that's gonna center that text perfectly for me once again. And then once you're finished with your alignment options, just press Command or Control D to deselect your selection. So then your canvas is no longer selected. And now with those two buttons, Buttons, you can easily center anything you want in Photoshop. But what if you want the option just to manually drag things into position? Well, we can use something called snapping to help us out. You can access snapping by going up to view and then down here to snap, making sure that that is checked off and then all of these options are checked off as well. This time with my image selected, grabbing my move tool, I can go and position this somewhere on my canvas, try to center it, and notice how I now have these purple lines. So as I got to the center, that purple line appeared indicating that my image is perfectly centered horizontally. If I go and drag up and down, notice how another purple line appears on the other axis, which indicates that my photo is perfectly centered vertically. So once I see those two pink guides, I know that my photo is perfectly aligned. So letting go of that, and now I've just manually clicked and dragged into position. So those are two methods to align your photo to the entire image. But what if you have a specific part of your photo that you want to align something to? For example, let's go into this other project and I have this collage here. By the way, if you wanna learn how to create this exact collage template and a whole bunch of other ones, I have a video all about that that you can find via the card in the corner right now. Anyways, let's say that I want to have some text just in this box right here and I want it to be perfectly centered. So let's go through that process, selecting the text tool, clicking in there to add some text, and then I'll just reposition this into the general area that I want. So let's say that I just want this to say camping trip 2021. I'll center that up like so, click the checkbox to commit to that. And then now I'll just try to reposition it into the general area. Now, as you can see, those snapping guides are once again working their magic and aligning our text in the proper area horizontally. And I could also find the vertical alignment by dragging down with that text, having that snapping option enabled. But what if you wanna use those same options that we used with the move tool? Well, in that case, we need to make a selection. So the easiest way to do that is just by selecting the rectangular marquee tool. And then I'm going to click and drag out to create a selection around that box that we want to center our text in. So with that selection active, I'll grab my move tool, making sure the text layer is selected. And then once again, I have these alignment options. I can click to align horizontally and then click to align vertically. And then I'll press command or control D to deselect that. And now my text is perfectly centered in that square that we set the parameters for on our own. So this technique will help you to align your text or images to anything that isn't the entire canvas. So if you just have a 
specific area that you want to align to. For example, one part of your image with a specific shape using the rectangular marquee tool and then the alignment options found in the move tool is a great option to use. So with those few tips, you can now align anything you want in Photoshop with ease. Now, if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you're gonna use these techniques for yourself, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com. I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.